in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Pray in the spirit. You can hold hands with someone if you want to draw that support. But make sure you are praying. Discipline yourself to pray. Lord, we bless you. 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 Sate balaka para kata fras kabalaka para to kapara da balaka pas. Kaberia saprande balaku sapre de balanda kaparias. Embreke para ko sapra di kabalaku saprande balatu ziata. Majesty, we bless you. All the overflows, make sure you are praying. Those connecting by way of the internet, join us as we pray. Edifying our spirit man. Shalibara sobranda balaka sabra de gebelekata. Sate baraka fasada balakata branda gata balakus. Embrete parakus calibre de gabalakus sebrash. Skate brende gebaruski a balakus abrest. Embratus ke la brate kebriada balas. Sobrega de baruntas ke brande gretis sabalakusi. Embratos calibre de cria parus cria balanda. Shade balacos cada brande que balacos. Sabrati cabarado sabrati cabalaca parada que vest. Granta paracos caprate cabalaca parus yata. Sade balada bacata franda balaca prosca bolos. Embrata que paraca tavrata que balaca tavranda balacos. Shkadeberende baruska freska balaka shabrande balekus yata. Go ahead and pray. Edify your spirit, man. Shkadebende kate freska la barandos kabrende kebelekatos. Rekete bakata frade kebelekete vranda baskata vradi kate belekush. Majesty, sade baska la kasa vrande kebelaska brige beleketash. Embare ke te faras kaza zabala kata branda ke la kata fransa ke le barakato sabre ke bus krate ka valasa da branda ke le parusia ta. But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, edifieth himself, edifieth himself. Shade salaga branda ska barako sabre de ke belekos. Kali baranta fras kebelaka parusa siada balanda. Ikrete ke baraka sobrende belaka parusia tapas. Ayu pray. Kabaranda fras kabarako sabre ke paradus kele brende belaka. Sabre de baratos ko brende barako sabre de belaka siata. Abara sobrende gebele kofias. A few more minutes. Go ahead and pray. Fix your eyes on Jesus. See him lifting you while you pray. See him rewriting your story while you pray. See him giving you ascendance in the spirit while you pray. Salabrenda gebarakos sabras kebelaga baratos sabrendes. 
Ebrata kafarakusa brada balenda proske balekusiata. Ebra sobaranda vraska barakata brada gede balekatos. A few more minutes, you are praying. You are sowing in the spirit, investing in your spirit, man. The Bible says, He that sows with the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sows with the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. Can you stretch for two more minutes? Alembarato sabrende gebele kafarasko da brende gebaraku shadas. Rate gabarate fraski malato shabrende gebele kuparas. Ay 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 ay, glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Prophesy, hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, say Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, say Hallelujah, hallelujah Ay, 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 song to a prayer say chant in the spirit you are glorifying his name the Bible says glorify the Lord with your body which is the Lord's we give you praise halal Yeshua we bless you we extol your name because you are King of Kings Lord of Lords Hallelujah. Tonight is a prayer meeting and it is also an impartation service. You are going to cry to the Lord from the depth of your heart. That which must rest upon my destiny for my advancement, for my ascendance, I receive by faith. I prepare my spirit. Go ahead and pray that you will not miss out on what is coming from heaven. To change lives, to transform you, to take you to another dimension in the spirit. Are you praying? Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we have come tonight to receive. We have come tonight to be changed. We have come tonight to be imparted by your spirit. Our hearts are open. Give us strange encounters. Give us visitations tonight. Let your word come alive. Position us for higher dimensions in the spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 Glory be to God. Hi, 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 Glory be to God. Hi, 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 Glory be to God. Can I tell you, when you have the seen eye, a man can smile at you and you know he's still an enemy because you can look beyond the paraphernalia when you have the seen eye even the keys of Judas will not deceive you there are many believers who have fallen as cheap prey to the hypocrisy of man if you are a leader here hear me if you just depend on yes sir daddy man of God get ready for pain in your life in ministry you must have the seen eye that beyond that which men do you can see into the heart when Judas came and kissed Jesus Jesus held his hand and said you betray your master with a kiss can I tell you, when God shows you the future, you will stand confident. You will dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing. You will get up from a dream. You will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say, Hallelujah, deliverance has come for this family. They will say, we don't understand what you are saying. They will say, I have seen it. Hallelujah. When there was a storm, the apostle got up and said you know what have no fear the angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss and the Bible says upon that confidence they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita the storms in your life today are overwhelming you and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now if you have the eyes to see beyond the now you will sit in, even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now please sit down dreams and visions when it's time to pray we are going to ask the Lord purify my dreams purify my vision and for some of you, I don't know what happened to your Christian life that your visions are not clear again or you do not even see. There are some of you, you were so graced and gifted by God. You can literally sit down like you are watching me and watch the movies of your destiny unravel. Either through carelessness, familiarity or lack of discernment, you lost it. Tonight, may there be a restoration. I say it again, may there be a restoration. that I may receive my sight. The sight I lost, that I may receive my sight. When God gives you the gift and the miracle of a seen eye, the first area of your life that begins to speak is your dreams and your visions. Danger will be averted when you see. Opportunities will be prepared adequately for when you see. You will be able to know what God is saying now if you are in ministry, I'd like you to listen to me. End time ministry will not happen for you if you do not have a seen eye. 
you will go and preach in places you should not go and ruin your life and destiny and your reputation and God's name upon your life because of very juicy opportunities that may be inconsistent with God's program. The seen eye. It was through a dream that the Lord spoke to Abimelech. When Abimelech was going to take Abraham's wife, a dream came. Yes, Mr. Man, this is a covenant woman. A covenant child is coming out of this. You are a dead man already if you fight this, this vision. And Abimelech got up in the morning and said, I'm sorry, and gave Abraham gifts. That's how he left Egypt wealthy. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? You must pray for a resurrection of your dreams our fathers some of them were not educated but my goodness through the channel of dreams and visions they walked in accuracy that did not make sense they said things five years before it happened you have your eyes open already what you are praying for tonight is not just an open eyes it's a seeing eye your eyes have been open for far too long but the veil is still upon you and you continue to fall prey to the vicissitudes of life. Let me give you number two. Is God helping someone? The gift of sight. Number two. The moment the believer receives the gift of sight, the second area that begins to speak in your life, are you ready now? Is your imaginations and your creativity. Write it down. The first revelation of the Holy Spirit in scripture was not as a healing spirit, was not even as a restoring spirit. It was as a creative spirit. When God gives you the miracle of open eyes, hear me, the second area in your life that is activated is your imagination and your creativity. And you please listen to what I have to say here. The mental pictures and the goals and the plans that frame your destiny are a product of this advantage. Otherwise, you will cook up things by yourself that have no blueprint. God can breathe upon your mind and you will come up with prophetic pictures that begin to spell the goal for the next level of your life. In Genesis chapter 11, 1 to 5, we see the power of imagination. The whole earth was of one language and one speech. And then the Bible says it came to pass that as they journeyed, they found a plain in the land of China and dwelt there. Verse 3, the Bible says they said to one another, Go to, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. Let us make stone and slime for mortar. Verse 4, and then the Bible says they said, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach the heavens and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth verse 5 and the Lord came down to see he didn't come down to hear he came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. let's read verse 6 the Bible says and the Lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do hallelujah and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined your imagination is a miracle God deposited that ability in you because your imagination like the prophetic can go into the future can go into yesterday your imagination can go to places that you cannot yet go physically imagination is someone learning in exodus chapter 31 1 to 6 exodus 31 1 to 6 having given moses watch this it was through these supernatural encounters moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle in the wilderness but how was it going to come to pass the lord spake unto moses saying verse 2 see i have called by name bezalel the son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. Uh -huh. I have filled him with the spirit of God 
in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship what for to devise cunning works to walk in gold in silver in brass verse 5 and in cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of timber and to walk all manner of workmanship final verse and I behold I have given with him a heel up the son of all that name of the tribe of Dan and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee is one thing to receive the commandment but you need your imagination ladies and gentlemen and your creativity activated and this is a function of the miracle of sight there are companies today who have partnered with demon spirits and continue to come up with witty inventions ideas that redefine civilization and believers do not know that the miracle of sight can translate to a creative mind when you know this it will tell on the kinds of songs that you bring from the spirit yes sir some of these songs that you hear and you wonder how did this person write this song i can tell you it's not just visions and dreams not all of them were just received verbatim they sat down and the breath of the spirit came upon their creativity and they conjured words and melodies together that your heart cannot stop singing creativity creativity there are people today who have been rewarded by nations because they sustained intelligence to download superior technological ideas, superior solutions via the medium of creativity and imagination. Hmm. You want to prosper? Here is where that possibility comes upon you. The breath of the Almighty you will think out creative ideas god will show you things that others are not seeing and with it god will begin to rewrite your life and believe me this works is someone learning there are people today who design clothes and there is no end to their creativity there are architects today who have designed whole cities and nations how do you think those things came I hope you know anything you imagine you only imagine it because it already exists if it does not exist it cannot be captured in your imagination anything that finds itself in your imagination it is because it has a frame in the realm of the spirit already your assignment is to culture your creativity such that you see and edit the thoughts and the pictures that are inconsistent with your destiny and select the ones that will give material frame to God's speakings in your life. The fact that you can imagine a thing means it already exists. You think I'm joking? Ask people in the movie industry. You think I'm joking? Ask architects. You think I'm joking? Ask professionals. Ask artists. There are artworks today that are worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. Out of nowhere you say, someone just began to paint. No, you lied. It was always there. It was simply transported and it followed the gate of imagination. So your Bible says, Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him, who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask some versions will say imagine 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 can i tell you the truth if you lack this faculty of creativity and imagination after one week of preaching you will not have sermons again did you hear what i said it is beyond seeing visions the realm of imagination and creativity is also the realm where productivity lies there is no end to the vast resources of intelligence that comes out from within your mind i preach an average of two or three messages every week with all humility and by the grace of god i've been doing this for many years you imagine once upon a time i think one of my phones crashed and that was when I realized that I lost over 800 sermons that I had prepared. 800 sermons and everything just went and I had to start again. 
I wept like Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. But after that, <laughs> where it came from the first place is still there. Mm, still there. Listen, those who understand this have manifested superhuman attributes and we have found names for them. Genesis we call some they have only tapped into that possibility truly there is the miracle of the seen eye that tells on your creativity the songs that come from you these guys watch this this my dear people are here playing these instruments I hope you know that when you play any of these instruments you are not really told what to play it is that faculty that is responsible for this that is what is needed to drive. There are people who always have accidents as far as they go out. The moment they go out, they will hit another car. I can tell you something is wrong with this realm of creativity. You are a businessman. I show you a formula. You can lock yourself. I'm going to be showing you how to prime this, my goodness. Ah. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you understand this, as a designer, you will start dressing kings. They will say, where did this thing come from? You will say your mind, but the truth is it came from the realm of the spirit. Only waiting for the gate of your imagination would it allow it to pass. All the businesses that thrive today, from Facebook to Twitter, to those who design, to those who have made all kinds of things, it came from there. There are companies today that try to simulate divine creativity by building departments called research and development. What is the assignment of a research and development arm? Of, to sit down and walk upon their mind. There is a better way. Typewriter cannot be the only thing. There is a way of taking away keypads. Now there is a way of even taking away the phone. And yet it is there. Creativity. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Once upon a time, if you wanted to hunt or you wanted to be wealthy, you would go to the bush and risk your life to hunt animals. And then tapping into this creativity, someone came up and said, no, what you call civilization is simply what happens when men honor this realm in the spirit of creativity and imagination. Civilization is so constructed as an honor to creativity and imagination. If you resurrect someone now who was alive 400 years, when he comes upon the earth, he will be shocked. What is this thing I'm holding? They say a phone. A phone? What is this thing you are wearing? And you give it all kinds of descriptions. There are literally people who are hired because either by divination or by instincts, they have trained their creativity and imagination. They can sit down and look at things and say, no, there is a better way. Do you know, for instance, that the glorious future building of Koinonia is already in the spirit? It's there. It's not in the mind of an architect is there predetermined by the counsel of God but it takes someone agreeing with God and then you receive through creativity my life has changed because of this sermons have come from this realm your do you know your approach to the study of scripture will change when you have creativity there are things you will see that a person whose creativity has not been empowered will not see creativity I think I was told as, as a story that I understand that God's servant has shared himself that while they were building, you know, the faith tabernacle now, um, there was a time that there was, they needed to push some gadget inside and then it was just maybe a fractions of inches higher than the door and it would not go in. And the people wanted to break the door and then push it in. And he said, no, stop. He said, there's a way out. And they said, there's no way out, sir. How do we push? He said, there is a way out. And he went and stood and prayed and he came out. He said, deflate the tire a little, push it in and pump it back. There will always be a way. I receive, I manifest 
your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify one song that can come from that realm can sort you and your generation and your children's children there are people today who are not musicians but they partnered with spirits and came up with ideas ladies and gentlemen the cure for poverty is found in this realm not just visions when the spirit moves upon you as a creative spirit you will come up with products listen people give me all kinds of gifts and I'm really honored to have them and sometimes I look at the things people give me and I wonder what kind of mind they had to have created some of the gifts that they have hallelujah I remember one time someone gave me something you just hook the tip of it just in something that looks like a rod no matter how you shake that thing it will never fall just a tip of it I don't know how what kind of thinking you play with it like a child playing it never falls the one time president of the United States was asked what does it take to fly a rocket to the moon and he said the will to do it the will to do it that's all that is required what does it take to move your store who would have believed that from one room someone can have a global business that with a capital of one million you can set up a room literally and not even have any products there and become a millionaire in six months someone came up with something called e-commerce and it has changed the lives of people today who would have believed that Joshua Selman is standing here in Abuja, Nigeria and speaking to nations? You can't hold it, yet you are seeing me. They simulated immortality and omnipresence. You never would have believed that I can be everywhere. Now that can be simulated through the power of the internet. Only God knows what is left in the spirit waiting for men and women who have the seeing eye only god knows what is left ladies and gentlemen hallelujah i traveled to a particular nation some time back and visiting a few of their top entrepreneurs i had the opportunity to visit one of the offices they facilitate transactions and i was told that about 95 percent of the transaction in that nation passes through that platform so I had the opportunity to sit and have a discussion with them, headed by a woman, very unassuming but powerful woman. I had to ask her a question. How do you do this? That 95% of the transaction of a whole nation of over 50 million, 50, yeah, million people, one man's creativity, and while they are seated there, another person is saying God you are not fair to me you would have given me the grace to have a rich father and God is saying I gave you what, more than what is a rich father you just have been blinded until you are 40 years now I'm praying for someone who oh, in the name of my God and your God you will receive the miracle of sight tonight <laughs> hallelujah someone looks at a goat and a ram and a sheep and all they are seeing is the reward for hunting and yet another person was looking and by creativity the focus was not on the animal but on the four and he said this i'm seeing a jacket not just an animal moving full of hair another person looks at a tree and is thinking firewood another person is thinking and say no this is a table that kings will sit on i met a young man 
not too long ago and this gentleman now works with the Dubai government and they released some very serious money and when he was sharing with me the idea he came up with I was tempted to ask him how old are you but you see that doesn't matter creativity make sure when I ask you to lay your hands on your head even if it's two of your hands you will lay there you must cry in the spirit Lord this faculty of imagination something must come out of it that will feed my children something must come out of it that will serve your purposes hallelujah someone came up with an idea called smart homes by the spirit it has redefined architecture and building today you find young people in their early and mid-twenties marvelously blessed sitting down with the kings of nations and signing contracts because of their mind not their size not their age that i may receive my sight that i may receive my sight everything you go to a restaurant and pay hundred thousand for is available in the farm someone saw how to combine it in a way you do not know and you have to pay for your ignorance sometimes almost forever are we together one time someone gave me i have a lot of those gifts someone gave me a cup and that cup when you pour hot water it changes it brings out something whether your picture or whatever they put there and i'm saying my goodness this is someone thinking oh this is someone thinking ladies and gentlemen once upon a time they sell ice water you put it in an ice a, 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 a leather and then you keep it and then when you buy it you can't take it because it's iced you have to impatiently endure until it defrosts then you now take it and someone looked at it and said no kings will not take this creativity i don't know who i'm speaking to today but it may not be demons that are keeping your business where it is or maybe your law firm or maybe whatever it is the world has a messless honor and recognition for creative people when you are creative and that by the spirit nobody will ask you where you are coming from again creativity 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit are you ready to lay your hands on your head in one minute please lay your hands and cry a cry in one minute father breathe upon my mind let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive someone is praying let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive pray spirit of the living God I receive the gift of the seeing eye let my creativity come alive in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus most high 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 hallelujah now hear me ladies and gentlemen those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight the gift of the seen eye not the open eye your eye can be open and yet you are blind your eye can be open 
man of God and yet you are blind there is the miracle of sight blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight he didn't say that my eyes be open that I may receive my sight and Jesus said then receive your sight it is a gift you can receive it the ability to see prophetically the ability to see through the mind of your imagination the ability to see to draw insight from scripture the ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny how could you fail with these systems of advantage no most high most high most high most high most high most high something is happening to you most high most high ah. most high Most high. Hear me. Can you tell me what the next phase of your destiny is in ministry? If your answer is no, then be ready to pray the prayer we're about to pray now. It is a risk to walk not knowing God's prophetic blueprint for your future. That would be a blind man and that would be a risk in life and destiny you cannot wait for situations and circumstances to define your movement and it is a risk to guess blindly just based on instincts you need the gift of sight to know with certainty what god wants you to do to know with certainty what the ministry should do to know with certainty the next phase of your business hallelujah hear me hear me hear me by the power of the seen eye the Lord himself spoke to it was Philip now and told him join this chariot and when he joined that chariot it was the utopian eunuch and that simple obedience brought him salvation because the man was reading and he said please tell me of whom is this is this about himself or another and they began a discussion ladies and gentlemen can i tell you if you do not have the eyes that see your helpers will pass you you will call enemies friends you will call friends enemies if you do not have the eyes that see you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction if you do not have the eyes that see you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death hear me i can tell you with all humility narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight meetings i always i almost went that i should not have gone and thank god i did not go associations i almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight many of you right now are in regrets respectfully speaking relationships that were going to destroy you you did not see you call the man an angel until you found out he was a devil you call the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you and unfortunately i hate to be a bearer of bad news some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of god will help you through 
Hallelujah. There are people today who made costly mistakes. There are certain courses they should have studied in the university, but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny, they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never, never need it. It did not help them in any way. And some of you right now, God has given you the gift of children, but you do not have the eyes to see their future. When Jacob was about to die, he called his sons. He said, come, let me tell you your future. One by one, they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them. Describe them and bless them. Describe them and bless them. hallelujah can I tell you as a leader when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department I was doing a, a, a teaching in Enugu I think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and I was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative, but they are loyal. And all this will be sent to you by God. It is your ability to see. Many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people. You put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor. And then the person does not have the time. Whether they cry, he does not care. It's not like he's a bad person. He's just not a pastor, unfortunately the gift of sight and can I tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can I, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life Some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of God, if you had seen them when they came, they did not look like it. But the ability to see. The cleaner who is cleaning your house now, you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children. The person may not be able to speak. Yes, he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira, 20 naira here. But it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits. The person still has the purity of heart. Can you look beyond people's actions? The seeing eye will help you to forgive. The seeing eye will help you to know how to tolerate people. It gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise. But the seeing eye will also caution you. And tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the seeing eye some of you God warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can I tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one I have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them for me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? 
perhaps he would have been called prophet Gehazi there are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left like Lot and made certain mistakes and if not for the intervention of Abraham Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah I know that that uncle may be harsh that auntie may be harsh it looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments but if you have the seen eye God will say remain in that house as, as harsh as that treatment is that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you running around and looking for comfort to produce a weak person and in the midst of that pain it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names and you want to leave and God says stay there if you have the eyes that see one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you oh, but God gave us an instruction he said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of Egypt and leave empty-handed if they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle hallelujah is someone hearing what I'm saying there are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived they knew that their decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here there were others who were blindly copying and they just got up as soon as they left Nigeria their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found and some of them with all due respect are living like fugitives in a strange land we are going to take five minutes and I'm going to leave you with your maker you're going to cry Lord deliver me from blindness open up my eyes and give me the gift of sight go ahead and pray open up my eyes give me the gift of sight the ability to see the seen eye the eye that sees the future the eye that redeems the future dominion over time someone pray someone pray someone pray I, 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 glory be to God. 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 I, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, say glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Ay, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hear me, hear me, in the name of Jesus. Father, 
What chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season to break out of and to become part of? Who is an ally indeed in this season? It will not come by physical appearance. You will need the ability to see. What should I be studying and meditating upon right now? What business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years? Don't assume the seen eye is a solution. Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you to one more prayer and after that there is a rain that is going to fall and wash off every mud that has covered your eyes there is a river that will flow as the one that came from Siloam and will be washing the eyes of people that they may see indeed now hear me the Bible says call unto me we are not done no I'm about to show you a key. I just want us to pray for a minute. Then I'll show you a key and then we'll do the impartation. Call on to me and I will answer. He didn't say I will tell you. I will show you great and mighty things concerning your destiny, concerning your business, concerning your family, concerning your children. Lord, you gave me four children. Who is the prophet among them? Who is the entrepreneur among them? Who is the leader among them? Let me not, let me not exchange their destinies like Esau and Jacob. Call on to me and I will answer. I'd like you to pray in one minute and cry. Say, Father, show me. Show me great and mighty things. Show me the things I need to be positioned over in this season. Show me things that I need to come into alignment with in this season. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. I tell you, I sense a very strong impartation that is about to happen. But I have to give you these three keys. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Ah. Nizambika. Nizambika Kainegaskia Nizambika Nizambika Kainehaskena Nizambika Yaisu Kainehaskena In the Kabi
Mizambika 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 Listen There are three keys I want to hand to you now I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye Number one Praying in the spirit Write it down there is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not is another thing. But as far as seeing is concerned, it is a grace that goes with praying. Show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer. I show you a seer indeed. Praying in the spirit. Sana kapakata baratusia. Satema la katos kaprika barantusiata. Ah! And when you begin to pray, the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the Father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen, the things that ears have not heard, the things that have not come into the heart of any man. Invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions. Invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination. Invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray when they sing you will know the difference you will know that this person is just singing I don't care how nice the voice is you will know this person is just at leaping and just singing there is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do a businessman who prays the difference will be clear a career person who prays the difference will be clear a man of God who studies scripture and prays the difference will be clear a worshiper who prays when he sings the difference will be clear there are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated you're like please just finish and go because there is no presence there is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do you cannot fake a genuine prayer life it's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence, there is a stamina, there is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it, you need it, you need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. You want to do end time ministry? Five minutes prayer? Ten minutes prayer? Save Johnny. You will reverse by yourself in shame. You want to see? You must learn to pray. Generate energy as you pray in the spirit. Yes sir. Male and female. Educated or otherwise. When it has to do with the gift of sight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is connected to a rich, consistent discipline of the prayer ministry. There are many people, it's in the place of prayer, that certain melodies will come in the spirit. You will start hearing sounds, you will write them. It's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed, scriptures will come to you. It is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded. Sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep. That sleep was not slumber. It was Adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. 
you must obtain grace by the spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer i'm talking of moments where you invest quality time you are not asking not tea not bread you are just traveling it's a cruise in the spirit and the flesh may be weak but you are still gaining ascendance you will hit an escape velocity in the spirit and the heavens are open and you will start receiving things something happens to your mind something happens to your understanding of scripture to make all men see To make all men see their future. To make all men see what God is saying. To make all men see his program. To make all men see where their wealth is. Just because everybody is running there. You may run there and your wealth is not there. To make all men see. What business to do. To make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into to make all men see where your helpers are esther to make all men see where ahasuerus is naomi to make all men see where boaz is to see where your victory is I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. I'm not wasting your time. Your life will change remarkably. Believe me. Remarkably. Can I tell you? The gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is. It can show you where the problem is. This backwardness in this family, where is it? What is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future. You can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen that this man was born blind? Himself or his father? And Jesus said neither. and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear Just listen. Hi, 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 glory be to God. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hi, 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 Glory be to God. Hi, 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 Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, upon someone's eye, the grace to see. Receive that grace now. Receive the gift of sight now. Hear me. Let me start with those called into the prophetic. In the name of Jesus. 
a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice called to operate in the prophetic office i activate that grace to see now And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your world, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega paragadata. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now (laughs) 
Adonai 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 Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now come out of that situation now a miracle service is next week but please allow me to speak over your finances there is something your eyes needs to see I want to pray for you can I tell you this listen your wealth is not everywhere don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy wherever your financial resources will come from i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area in the name of jesus christ everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of jesus i'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again may nothing take you unawares that before it happens by the power of sight may you see it so that if you have to stop it you stop it from happening and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you Settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you, and we will never settle for less. When we know there's more that's found in you, yeah, we will never settle for less. We know. There's more that's found in you. Hallelujah. Can we take two minutes to pray? Just one prayer that you will pray and then I speak over you. I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, I obtain grace to be audacious towards my life and destiny. I know that you are great, you are mighty, you are able. I shake away every limitation that has pegged me, every limitation that has tied me down in ministry, in destiny. Someone is praying. I obtain grace by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Invest a minute or two and just pray. You are speaking over your destiny here at this discovery conference in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to rise higher for the kingdom, to do much for his majesty and for his glory. 
My life will never be limited. My life will never be pegged at a level. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have received the keys to manifesting Bible faith. The faith that works, the faith that produces. Someone is praying. Just a minute, you are praying, stretching in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're out of time, but just lend me a minute. Place your hand if you are trusting God for healing. In any part of your body, you can stand in for your loved one. I just want to speak a word. We may not have time for testimonies and all of that. But just a minute to pray over the sick and then to join faith with all the servants of God here speaking over your life as I wrap up my session with you tonight. Go ahead, place your hand. We believe in a healing Jesus, the one who heals. Every time he gathers a people to himself, among the many things that he seeks that they experience is his power to heal, to save, to deliver, and to lift. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people here at this discovery conference. I stand in faith and in agreement with every servant of the living God here. And under this corporate anointing, I speak to everyone who is sick in your body, here on site and those following online in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring you life I bring you healing Amen. now be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I decree be made whole now Amen. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity and Amen. I command it to leave your body Amen. terminal diseases be healed right now Amen infirmities and yokes of all kinds and all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. now I join faith with the angel over this house and I prophesy over you in the name that is above all names the grace to rise to an elevated dimension in your life and destiny according to the word that the Lord gave the man of God the 99 days left between now and the end of December may that grace elevate you Amen. the courage to take giant steps of faith I release that grace upon you Amen. and for someone like the man of God preached you may have fallen things have gone down you may have failed many times the grace to arise receive it now in Jesus Amen. name I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that as you take giant steps of faith believing God for new things new horizons impossible dimensions may my God back you up Amen. may your life become a sign Amen. and a wonder let this be true for a pastor here Amen. let it be true for a businessman Amen. let it be true for a family man Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. everything that represents shame and reproach in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare you are separated from it forever Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. by this time next year, return 10 times better. Amen. Return 10 times better. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision. I'm seeing like a mango tree and I'm seeing mangoes fall down and they are wasting. They don't stay in the tree. And the Lord is telling me this is the issue of fruitfulness that has been happening for a family. Miscarriages again and again. They never stay. I pray for the family of Jane. Every spirit that has hindered fruitfulness, I stretch my hands now. Kabakatos kediata. Ah, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it aparos keta. Let it catch fire now. I bring liberty to the family of Jane. Every altar eating up children, destroying fruitfulness by the power of the Holy Ghost, it comes to an end now.
Every family suffering from barrenness, unfruitfulness of any kind in the name of Jesus Christ, let that play come to an end now. Believe what you are hearing. Let that play come to an end now. Let that play come to an end now. That a mango tree with fruits, it doesn't stay until it's ripe and it keeps falling down. And you are looking at the tree, the leaves are there, but it is not producing. I say it again, if there is anyone here or anyone you know, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this is the miracle service that delivers your results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now let me stretch my hands over all that have come to the front. I didn't ask you to come out just to waste my time or your time. I pray for you, everyone who is in front here, for those that are now becoming battle axes for the kingdom, the anointing that you need to return back as a warrior, I stretch my hands from here. May that grace rest on you now. May that grace rest on you now. And for everyone who is out here, because of an oppression of darkness, that God located you by the Spirit, the Spirit responsible for this, I speak as one sent, let them go now, let them go now, let them go now, release their destinies now, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Everything that is darkness, we bring light now by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Your miracles are established forever. In the name of Jesus. Those who can go, just let them go. Those who are still under the anointing, just let them be. Please sit down and let's finish up the second part. Because we need to allow the power of God to move in this place. There are people who have prayed and fasted. There are issues in your life that you must wave goodbye now. It is time and they must wave you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Machines don't diagnose spirits. Hallelujah. How about those who are in all kinds of trouble right now? financial trouble trouble with your destiny perhaps your rent is not paid how about projects that have been grounded you started building since 2018 till now it has not even reached lintel level it's no longer a testimony this one is not just building you need restoration restoration is not when the building is completed restoration is when god does something and blesses you with more than one house and honors you and you will see him you you are able to see the hand of god in your life someone i, I can't remember if it was koinonia here or maybe a personal testimony who got an employment letter and while the person was rejoicing an email was sent again that it was a mistake why must it be a mistake when it gets to my turn say no way in the name of jesus christ how do you see something good you are almost touching it in the name of Jesus let me speak over someone whatever has come so close to you just left for your hand to reach and yet it was manipulated by witchcraft I call upon the God of my covenant your hand will hold it this night 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Please sit down. A helper that promises you, come on Monday, he says. You get to his office and he's acting as if you are an assassin that came. Cannot even remember he told you that.
And let me tell you the truth. See, anything you are not ready to confront, you are giving it longevity in your life. Did you hear what I said? You must get angry in your spirit. Yes, sir. Doors open just when you are entering. Others enter, then they stop you and they say, wait. The woman with the issue of blood knew about the fact that water was stirred. I hope you know they were in the same generation. She was not near the water. The person in Mark 5, in, in John 5, was still in the generation of the woman with the issue of blood. That one found himself near the water. The woman sat down outside of the gate or outside of the city when she heard about Jesus. I'm sure she told herself, there is no hope of me getting close to the pool of Bethesda. But I say to myself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. I believe in seasons. I've taught you about seasons and timings. But I've also taught you that the day Jesus comes to your life, a season has opened. Are we together now? Yeah. By the natural course of life, there are things that should happen with time and in season. But Jesus becomes a legitimate exception to all things. He can step into your life today and say it is not next year, it is this year. Um, could that be a prophecy for someone? That it is not next year, oh, it is this year. I say it again, it is this year. You will see the faithfulness of God this year. The job this year, the child this year, the marriage this year, the lifting this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. God has chosen the foolishness of prophetic words to rewrite the destinies of men. That a word comes and you say amen with understanding and God stamps it in heaven and no devil of darkness will come and rewrite it. Hallelujah. While you are here in Koinonia, perhaps outside, perhaps in the overflow, as a prophetic word is coming, my God, there are angels you cannot see going around Abuja, being sent by the word of God. Some of them maybe to national assembly, others to certain ministries, others to certain places. There is a destiny helper sleeping somewhere and an angel of the Lord will come like Joseph, like, like Gabriel to Mary and wake him up and say, God is speaking to you. Come through dreams like he did Abimelech. Listen, Abraham never begged Abimelech to give him anything. It was because Abimelech had a dream. God first warned him about Abraham's wife. And to be able to restitute what he has done or what he intended to do, he gave Abraham gifts. Chapter 12, a prophetic word comes. Chapter 13, he returns with untold prosperity. Ah, Elohim. Ah, Elohim. Ah, Elohim. Shalabala. Ah, Elohim. Elohim, Madonna. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. I, decree, I decree. And I declare. I declare that in the name of Jesus. Jesus answers. answers to, every to every issue of concern. I receive now. Go ahead and pray. Answers. Health answers. Destiny answers. Marital answers fruitfulness answers someone is praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I receive answers I receive answers I receive answers 
I receive answers. I receive answers in the name of Jesus. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to do a very quick one right now. There are three areas of focus tonight. Number one, prophesying liberty for the various aspects of our lives. Number two, ministering deliverance to people who are oppressed. Because most of the issues you call prayer requests, the truth is that they are signifying the presence of spirits that may be operating for some on legal basis. This is where the ministry of the blood comes. That the blood sustains the unique ability to bring a separation. And you will find out that with that separation, many requests to be answered in a moment. And then I want to take a few minutes and pray for the sick. Those of you who are sick or came with sick loved ones, make sure you release your heart, your faith to be healed right now. Hopefully we'll have the time and in a few minutes. Uh, now because we're hurrying up, the moment you have a testimony, I'm going to ask you to walk out very quickly. Some of you who have already received will take a few testimonies and then will enter the stage of prophetic words. That declaration is important to me because that is how many of you will return with testimonies. Not everybody is sick. Not everybody may be oppressed or have any kind of demonic influence of all sorts. But I can be sure that everybody is tired of their current level and that they want to scale heights in the spirit and in destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want to pray for those who have experienced all kinds of satanic issues. My Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Many sicknesses are connected to spirits. It is true. There are many demonic influences plaguing families. Now I'm going to pray and it's going to be, I will ask you in our manner here to shout the name Jesus. And when I do, with humility of heart and the fullness of faith, I'd like you to obey that prophetic instruction. And very quickly, I'd like you to bring out those who will be under the anointing. Now the ushers are limited. Please do me a favor. If someone, maybe you are, especially you're a worker, those under the anointing, 
when I ask you to bring them out, if there's someone under the anointing close to you, just help to bring them out. You don't have to wait for the ushers. They are limited. They are literally tens of thousands of people all over and there's so much they can do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, here at this miracle service, you gave us authority and you gave us power over snakes, scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. You gave us authority over witchcrafts, altars and every kind of satanic manifestation. Father, there are lives here, there are destinies here that have been under the siege of darkness as individuals, as families, as businesses, plaguing their health, their finances, and various aspects of their lives. This is why your people came. And Lord, I pray right now that as your people shout that name that is above every other name, every spirit that has tied down lives, that has tied down destinies, it is time for you to give way. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name that is above every other name. That name that defeated sin, Satan, hell, and the grave. And as you shout it, let every spirit that is not the Holy Spirit of God, it will clear the way and it will release your destiny now. And then ushers very quickly, please bring those under the anointing. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. One, my God, I sense a strong anointing. Two. Three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Help them please. Release every destiny now. Every destiny bow. Be released now. Outside, inside, yokes of darkness, curses. Let God's people go now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, we're still praying. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing hands tied. I've seen this many times. Every hand that has been tied, right now I decree and declare, let the, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring a separation now. 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 The spirit of delay, whose destiny has been delayed here, whose destiny is not rising here. I'm seeing fire falling. Father, let the altar of delay right now, at the count of three, let it be broken. One, two, three, break now. Break now. Destiny delay, be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Habalaga bakata bakata kapa. Kradeke pareke takusiata. I'm seeing a veil, a veil, a covering, stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. I stretch my parakatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered your glory, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. outside there is something God wants to do to those outside those outside I want you to lift your hands I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names those at the overflow outside at the count of three those outside I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people some of you have lost your loved ones i don't know why god is speaking to me about those outside right now i decree and declare 
outside at the count of three. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Break now, break now, break now, break now. The spirits of untimely death, you are under arrest by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor in the name of Jesus to a point where people avoid you like a plague because it's as if you are carrying bad luck. They whisper to one another and say, don't come near this person. The last time I came, I went down. I pray for you. Every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you. In the name of Jesus, I wipe it out tonight. 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 Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person, you had fibroid years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and is regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the power, Parakata Siketea, Sanit Separantas Kaba, Skabarakatoska Brekata. That devil manifesting as fibroid. It dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. frontier and those who have come out in the various overflows I speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that God has helped and I declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now Go now, never to return. Go now, never to remain. Go now, never to return. Their bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Their destinies are immune, fortified by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick. Just be silent. I want you to listen to me. I'm seeing something that looks like a white towel. And I'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people. Not everybody. These are specific people it is being laid upon. And I'm wondering what is wrong. And the Lord is telling me 
that there are destinies that have cried there are families that have cried and he's coming in as a bam in Gilead. This is not just bodily sickness. I'm seeing this being laid on people right now. Father, I'm at least with what I'm seeing, it should not be less than 12 or 13. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know who this, this cloth, I'm sure is a sign of Sukkot that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God. I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit in truth let it rest on your head. In truth let it rest on your head. And by this prophetic mystery every and all weeping comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. If you came with a photo of someone as a prophetic contact for healing while I'm praying now I want you to connect it doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter where they are I sense a, a mighty healing anointing right now please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now lay your hands lay your hands outside lay your hands everywhere lay your hands now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise We raise For you are God and God alone your hand I want to pray for you right now I'm seeing so many people lifting up photos of loved ones it looks like there is a demonic onslaught of sickness that wants to bring mockery to the body of Christ people who love God and serve the Lord and then the devil just comes in sometimes as a devourer and the whole savings of families just go in one month in two months because they have to manage delicate health issues. Please, I want you to believe that Jesus heals. Lay your hands. Let me pray for you now. Whether it is a growth. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place father in the name of Jesus release your faith now I decree and declare you gave men the power over unclean spirits. You gave power to heal even incurable diseases. Your people are here representing themselves and representing their loved ones. In the name that is above all names and by the God who has sent us to be his channels of healing to the nations. I decree and declare right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, if that sickness has a name, if that sickness has a name, then I command it to bow now. Amen. Bow now. Amen. Bow now. Amen. Every blood condition, be healed now in Jesus' name. Every malfunctioning heart, you receive a brand new heart now. Cancer, we call you by name and we curse you by the God of heaven. 
fibroids of all kinds, you will die from the bodies of God's people. Amen. Kidney failure, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle, a restoration of your kidneys. Liver failure, let there be a restoration of your liver. Gastrointestinal conditions, be healed right now. Reproductory conditions, be healed right now. Goiter, the Lord is showing me someone, goiter, be healed now. Eye conditions, glaucoma, cataract, be healed now. Short-sightedness, long-sightedness, be healed now. Brain tumors, prostrate problems, lumps all around your body, be healed now. Movement of satanic objects around your body, in the name of Jesus, that movement stops this moment. Deafness, whether on one of the, of the ears or both of them, in the name of Jesus, let them be opened now. There's someone, you are a gentleman. You are not able to ease yourself. It looks like some... Um, Maybe some urinogenital problem. I don't know what it is, but you are not able to ease yourself. Excruciating pain. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, right now, this moment, I decree and declare, healing comes for you now. <laughs> Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. Back pain. Be healed now. There's someone, you came with severe pain around your kneecap. That pain is living now. That pain is living now. The Lord is showing me a healing happening for someone around your molar. Severe pain. It looks like, it looks to you because of the pain, like perhaps there may be some hole or some cavity problem. May the Lord bring you a miracle now. Make sure you keep believing. The Lord is showing me someone's mother. I'm seeing her just sit on a chair. She's not able to use her right leg. I'm seeing a crutch. In the name of Jesus, wherever mama is, whether she's here on ground or following from across the globe, in the name of Jesus, healing comes now. Healing comes now. There's someone, I think your elder, your elder sister is having her lip swell like it's becoming twice the size of the normal human lip. This thing you see, I'm not a doctor, but based on what God is showing me, is cancer forming. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the way it came, let it go back. I say it again, the way it came, let it go back. There is a, in fact, two people I'm seeing. You have a very severe, I don't know what the medical name is, what they call nose bleeding. You can stand and just begin to bleed significant portions of blood coming through your nose in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now whatever the medical condition is be healed now I'm seeing a gentleman you are here you are SS that's sickle cell when this crisis starts for you it's almost as if you are gasping for breath to lose your life in the name of Jesus, I don't know where that gentleman is, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may that crisis come to an end now. I need to pray for someone. You sprained your leg 
but with what I'm seeing is beyond a sprain on your leg because you are not able to stand straight. It looks like there are pins that are choking your leg like pins. This thing I need to pray for you. There is something wrong with your veins and your arteries. In the name of Jesus Christ, may my God who is healer bring healing right now. Bring healing right now. For someone you are not sick per se, but you are not able to sleep in the night. Once people go to bed, you just lie down and you keep rolling left and right and sleep almost never comes. To a point that you are already getting, I'm seeing you take a white pill, something that was given to you in the hospital and it's almost becoming an addiction. You are taking it and yet it is not working. In the name of Jesus, may my God, who is also your God, bring you healing right now. Again, the Lord is showing me a woman just like I shared the vision earlier. You take in, but then you have a dream and all kinds of things happen in that dream. Soon after that dream, you will lose this pregnancy. This thing has happened over six or seven times. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on you now. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Someone you are having, I want to pray for you. You may think it's a joke, but I think a doctor warned you that you are having a heart problem that if you are not careful you're going to have a, a heart attack and it can affect you in your sleep you got angry at the doctor the doctor did not lie I need to pray for you because I'm seeing a situation where I'm not a medical doctor forgive me but I'm seeing that your heart is not pumping blood well and a situation where you know how like a car that loses fuel you know how it keeps jacking and stops this is what I'm seeing Prophetic things are very funny. Sometimes God uses other images to show you what he's, he's showing you. I'm seeing like a car. You know how fuel is over and it's gasping and stops. And this is what I see of that person. And then he doesn't wake up again. In the name of Jesus. Anyone having a heart problem, whether you know it or not. Of course, you should always be responsible. I've taught you this. But in the name of Jesus right now. I'm praying for you. Whatever wants to kill you. Using heart attack or heart failure breathing problems in fact be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you even came here with your inhaler you are an asthmatic patient when this thing starts on you it's almost as if you literally feel life passing out of you and this thing has punished you again and again I'm praying for that person you came here literally with your inhaler in the name of Jesus wherever you are may the power of God rest upon you right now rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ God is the lifter of men like he's lifting you now I said like he's lifting you now it doesn't matter who believes it or who does not believe it. That is none of your business. Like he's lifting you now. Ah. By your spirit I will rise From the ashes of defeat The resurrected King Is resurrecting me In your name I come alive enemies there is something about God that I know 
there is something about the lifter that I know. My family may be the lowest, but I know something about God. I am not serving an unknown God. My altar, my devotion is not to an unknown God. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Hallelujah. Hear me. When naysayers come to you and say you've been serving God for 20 years, what is the benefit? God rewards. He does not pay salary. It's salary that is monthly. God's reward may look like it's not coming. But in one day, after 20 years, even if you are Abraham, it may take 25 years. But ladies and gentlemen, when the rewarder comes, he will come with his reward and his benefits and make your life a praise to the nation. Hallelujah. For many years we served God and gave him everything and there was no comeliness and nothing in our lives that looked like God rewards but something about his character. For someone you have been praying and fasting and pressing in life and ministry because God said he's giving you the mantle and the mandate of a deliverer. Do not allow ignorant person confuse you about this God you are serving. The rewarder is on his way to you. Yours is to be diligent. Others were bribing in the office and you refused to bribe. Now you are feeling stupid because you would have lived in a duplex by now. You would have had cars if only you cut corner. Only Yeshua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only Yeshua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Three more times. Only Yeshua will reign forever. His kingdom, there'll be no end. Only a shoe, only a will reign forever. To his kingdom, there'll be no end. Only a shoe, only a will reign forever. To his kingdom, there'll be no end. This is now the reason why. Ask you to stand when I was praying the Lord told me that there's a few people that he's going to be raising as signs listen they are going to be demonstrators of his power signs a few people and I I first prayed for myself I said Lord I must become one of such people now I want to pray for you Lord I pray that you find men and women in the midst of your people men who will be signs signposts showing men the possibilities that are captured in this divine life therefore i stretch my hands in the name of jesus christ by the election of grace i decree and declare that the grace that makes you a sign and a wonder in ministry in your profession in business in family may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Your life ceases to be ordinary from tonight. A sign and a wonder. Your life becomes a Bible for many to read. A compendium of the manifold wonders of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no For some of you, the sign that will rest on you is the favor of God. For some of you, the sign that will walk will rest on you is the healing anointing. For some of you, the sign that will rest on you is strange influence, inexplainable influence. For some of you, the sign that will rest on you is speed that cannot be described. For some of you, the sign that will rest on you is a demonstration of the gift of the Spirit at a level that men have not seen. For some of you, the sign that God will give you is empowerment in your mind, extraordinary intelligence. 
but by all means may that sign be represented in your life I and the children that the Lord has given me the Bible says we are for signs for signs for signs there are worshipers that will become signs you will not just sing songs there will be mysteries from your voice to the nation there are preachers that will not just be preachers as it were but signs and wonders your life becomes a case study that men use your life to learn God financial signs arise favor signs arise intercessor signs arise in the name of Jesus Christ listen when you want to go to a restaurant that you have never been before when you are close to the vicinity and you're in doubt as to whether to turn left or right you may not have seen the actual building but you look for the signpost the signpost number one tells you you are near and then it directs you more accurately into it I'm about to pray that prayer that someone who is confused about God confused about how favor works confused about how consecration works confused about how the spirit of revelation functions in a man confused as to how men can be custodians of the mysteries of God confused as to how God can trust men with nations in the name of Jesus tonight may your life be an explanation to divine mysteries May your life be an explanation to divine mysteries. In the name of Jesus. Any route to knowing God beyond this, as much as scripture reveals, will only tilt you to error and divination. That any man who seeks to know God must explore God through the platform of his character, the platform of his ways, and the platform of of his power I decree and declare every dimension of that revelation that is currently deficient in your life I call upon my God who is also your God that by his spirit who has been mandated to be the revealer of all things even the deep things of God may the spirit of revelation rest upon you may the spirit of revelation rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ you can know God accurately when you know his character. You can know God accurately when you understand his ways. You can know God accurately when you know his power. The proof that you have encountered his character is that there is a conformity in your life to become like Jesus Christ in experience, an experiential conformity is proof that you have encountered his character and then the absence of fear fear is replaced with reverence in your life that you revere him but not fear after the flesh number two when you understand the ways of god the proof is excellence as far as living in the cosmos the superiority of the way of god when you know the way of god are we together now you will triumph as far as destiny actualization and fulfilling the purposes of God is concerned but then your dominion in experience is established when you know his power now you access in truth the grace to demonstrate and to validate as a witness that he is king that he is Lord and this one is very important especially because of the context of the world and the civilization that we live in now. This world needs to see the power of God beyond falling down, beyond rising up. As wonderful as that is, supernatural solutions, superimposing systems and structures that your words no longer become barren nor impotent. Your life becomes an explanation to divine mysteries that as she takes you from nation to nation, you literally enter a nation and keep it at a standstill, not just in terms of the carnality by the flesh, but that your life, you become such a lampstand, a witness indeed. Let me make the altar call. You are here and you've heard me teach 
and Jesus is speaking to you that it is time to make it right with him. You want to know God, John 17, 3. Jesus said, this is eternal life, that they may know thee, the one true God, and Jesus whom thou hast sent. It is always a joy to make this altar call, and there are many people you came to church, and you need to run to Jesus. I'm going to make two calls in one. You have never made this decision genuinely, and you are saying, Apostle, please give me a chance to make it right with Jesus. Or number two, you are saying, I want to rededicate my life. I begin my counting now, one to five. Please leave your seat and run with boldness and confidence. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them as they come. Do not wait for someone to be the first. Please stand. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Come. Come. Two. Run to Jesus. The Bible calls him the way, the truth, and even the life. It says, as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. Are you still celebrating salvation? Come to Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, he's able to give you a new beginning. Doesn't matter how you have moved in defiance as far as the will of God is concerned. Come. God bless you. Young and old, come. Male and female, come. From all walks of life. It's a joy and a pleasure for me to lead you to this Jesus. Now he's not an unknown God. He seeks to be known as great and manifold as he is in his wisdom and his ways. In as much as there is no searching of his understanding, I want you to know that he can be known. Do not ever leave your Christian experience with this gap and this ignorance that God does not want to be known. As mysterious and as mighty, as manifold, as vast as he is, it is true that we will never exhaust learning him, but he designed a curriculum for us in this side of his kingdom that can help us know him sufficiently. Beyond the shores of this, our civilization, we will be given another manuscript as we advance in knowing him. But for now, he has left us with a compendium of his character, his ways, and access to his power. You're joining them, join them quickly. I want to lead you to pray. And all the overflows, please do same. Walk to the front of your projector screen. And for all who are following from across the globe, any nation watching by television, watching by internet, it's my joy and honor to lead you to this Jesus the father and even his son whom he sent as a mediator a reconciler he's brought us now through a new and living way we do not walk in fear again we are now the family of faith and for these precious ones who are coming after your declaration of faith and by the integrity of scripture the bible lets us know that a translation happens from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son thank you by the way for making this noble decision Thank you for summoning the courage to come. You're doing this before Jesus. Please lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And I want you to say this after me, believing with all your heart that he's hearing you. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe in you that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i'm a child of god can you hear me from tonight, I'm a child of God, and I go forward ever and backward ever in Jesus' name. Apologies for the breaking um, sound. My sincere apologies. I'm sure that something may have happened. Please accept our kind apologies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, here's what I want you to do for me. There are counselors that are by my right, which will be your left. Please, all of you in concert, would you move and you have a quick word. They'll have a quick word with you and you'll be back. Let's honor them as they go. <laughs> Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Please rise up on your feet. Now, um, just two announcements. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.